Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I will speak briefly to this bill, but not so briefly that um, you cannot call quorum on me, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. Um, Australia is a very interesting country. We have never had an abundance of capital, and we have never had an abundance of risk capital. It is for this reason that when you look at the United States, at the top 20 companies they have by capitalisation, all of them bar one was founded or was started after 1975. In Australia, when you look at our top 20 country, uh, companies by capitalisation, all the, the youngest of those companies, the one that was founded at the latest date, was Woolworths in 1928. When you think about the challenges facing our economy at the moment, which the Labor Party points out to us on a regular basis, it is normally in the case that we do not have, that we have seen productivity growth halve since the Howard government due to the onerous and negligent laws introduced by the Gillard Rudd government that have so tied up our corporations and financial service companies in red tape and ensured that they did not have the ability or the capacity to allocate capital in our economy as efficiently and as effectively as you otherwise would want them to have. The result of this has been that because productivity has been lower, we have seen real wages have been lower. Because productivity has been lower, consumers have suffered because you have not seen the formation of new companies. You have seen an increase in the barriers to entry for new corporations, and so consumers do not get the innovation in products and services that they would normally have because of the fact that, pe that there are not new companies coming into the market. If Apple had been founded in Australia, it would never have got off the ground because of the laws and the policies that the Labor Party have inflicted upon the people and the economy of Australia. And we need to understand that the same would go for Google, the same would go for Microsoft, the same would go for a whole raft of companies that have created untold wealth and, and products and services for individuals everywhere across the world. It is interesting that Australia's most famous and probably most successful IT company is a co little company called Atlassian, um, founded by Scott Farquhar and Mike Cannon-Brooks. When they came to the point of, of listing that company, they didn't choose Australia to list that company. They chose the NASDAQ in the United States. We have companies like Palantir who have had to move large parts of their workforce to the United States because of the tax laws introduced by Chairman Swan when he was treasurer of this country. And what it meant was, was that no one wanted to start an employee share scheme. So we have the so-called party of the workers ensuring that the people who were working hard to make these companies as successful as they are, who are putting their intellectual nous and all that they had into the starting of these companies and the success that they were. And the founders wanted to share that success, wanted to share the upside of their ventures, of their ideas, of their sweat and of their labour. We had the Labor Party under Chairman Swan making sure that that couldn't happen. I mean, they must go outside this chamber and, head, and hang their heads in shame at the damage that they have done to Australian workers in this country. But this now, the Liberal Party is now the party of the worker because we care about people getting a fair share of what they put into the work and the effort that they put into their companies. This bill is only necessary because of the onerous financial service regulations introduced by the Labor Party that, by the way, did not help consumers. In fact, they did quite the opposite. I mean, there was more harm at the, at the hands of financial service companies under the Labor Party than there's ever been under the Liberal Party. You had TRIO, you had Storm Financial, just as two. I mean, and then we don't have to go far back to the Victorian government um, under John Cain that had the State Bank of Victoria that at one point made every Victorian more poorer than your average uh, citizen of some um, very developing countries. That's what you get under the Labor Party. This bill is necessary because we need to free up risk capital in Australia 
and I recommend this bill to this House in the unamended form.